morning everybody. just want to do, maybe start making a few devotional videos to, to share for your encouragement. And well, as you can see, the cat decided he wanted to be in on this uh, little venture as well. So this is uh, Mittens, our 15 going on 16 year old cat. He's very much part of the family here. So for this morning, I just want to do read from Psalm 84, one of my favorite psalms. And I think just some great reminders again. How lovely is your tabernacle, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you, Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a spring. The rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. O God, behold our shield, and look upon the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he uphold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. And indeed, uh, it is a good thing to trust in the Lord and to wait upon the Lord and to desire to be in the Lord's presence. Is there anything better than time spent with our Savior, our King, our friend, our God, our Redeemer, uh, to, to walk with Him and, and to find in Him our all in all? He truly, in these days and in every day, uh, is our hope and our strength, our shield. And uh, we need to, to cling closely to Him. And perhaps in times of difficulty and, and unusual stress like the days that we're going through, it's a reminder that we need to encourage ourselves in the Lord. Maybe we can't gather and meet the way we normally do. Maybe we don't have access to some of the usual uh, forms and ways of encouragement. But we have the scriptures and we have our God who has promised to never leave us and never forsake us. And maybe one of the big lessons that will come out of this time is that of learning to individually trust the Lord and walk with the Lord. And to make sure that uh, indeed our hope is in God and, uh, and not, not in others. I remember a number of years ago when our son uh, Sam was in Prairie Bible College. And uh, he phoned me one day and he said that he'd been reading uh, John chapter 15. A passage that speaks about the Lord Jesus being our vine and that we are the branches. And he shared with me great revelation as it were that the Lord had spoken to him that we only have one vine and that is the Lord himself if we try and make the church our vine if we try and make fellowship our vine if we try and make each other our vine uh, it's it's something that uh, we, we're, we're going to the wrong source all of those things can be helpful and encouraging but we really only have one source one vine that we are to cling to and, and draw encouragement and strength and power and hope from. And that is our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ himself. So we trust that during this time it's a lesson that, that we might all learn and uh, go from theory to the, the practice of abiding in the vine. And this psalm reminds us again that we are to desire his presence. Uh, my soul longs, yes, even faints for the courts of the Lord, my heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. May your soul and my soul be, be stirred. May we seek the Lord more than anything else, uh, not seeking necessarily that everything will return to normal or seek that our finances would improve or seek that everything would, would just be okay, but rather to seek the Lord and to accept whatever he brings our way, leaning on him, trusting in him, allowing him to have his perfect way and will in our lives. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. 
It's a special time in many ways, though it is a very difficult time and a trying time. But we thank you that you allow these things to teach us lessons. Help us not to miss the lessons that you would have each one of us learn. Maybe some things that need to be dealt with in our lives. Maybe some things that we need to let go of. Uh, maybe that we need to deal with, with apathy in our lives. Indifference, perhaps. Father, we, we ask and pray in Jesus' name that even this COVID-19 situation may work out for, for our good and for your glory. Indeed, we pray for many who are affected. We pray for those who are ill. We pray for the frontline workers. We pray for those who are working hard to keep lines of production and supply going. And Father, we pray for wisdom. Wisdom for those in every level of, of government and the authorities who are making important decisions that affect millions and millions of lives. Father, we pray that you would work and speak and act in significant ways, that you would overrule by your might and power, and that we pray much good might come even in the midst of, of the struggles and trials. We commit ourselves to you in Jesus' name.